It's time for another JGLP. What's gonna happen? Just watch and see. Bum! Hello, everyone. Welcome to JGLP. Um, today we are playing Mickey no Tokyo Disneyland de Boken for the Super Famicom, which translates out to Mickey's, I think it's Mickey's Adventures in Tokyo Disneyland. Now, this game was only released in Japan, but I'm playing it through a modified Super Nintendo. So the story is that all of Mickey Mouse's friends have been kidnapped and put in different places throughout Disneyland, Tokyo Disneyland, and so you have to go rescue them. The first level you go to is Pirates of the Caribbean. And I'll just explain, so you have water balloons that you use to attack with, and then for movement you have helium balloons. Ah, so this game was made, I want to say 90, it was made in the 90s, I want, I want to say 1996. Okay, oh. So like I said, you use the water balloons to attack with. The bigger the water balloon is, the more power it does, but the, the um, less distance it travels. This is actually a rather difficult game, which isn't surprising seeing how a lot of Japan exclusive games are notoriously difficult. This isn't like, um, you know, Super Mario Bros. 2 level or um, Transformers level. This is just, you know, it's still difficult, but it's not unplayably difficult. Aww. Now that one's a. There we go. Go. I got a the ro the levels are very faithful to the rides they are representing a lot more than Adventures in the Magic Kingdom did. I'll tell you that. Oh, and so you put down the balloon and you can use it as a platform. And now we get a onslaught of enemies. One problem I do have with this game, though is there is frequent slowdown. So there, I... Oh, am I at the very beginning of the level again? Oh well, okay, well let's keep going. I'm not gonna do a complete playthrough of this, just, you know, a little bit of it. And that one's the... there we go. So you would think by using the helium balloons you could just travel through the whole game quickly. But actually it can be pretty dangerous. It's a good thing and it's a bad thing. And also, yeah, also the helium balloons can be used as weapons as well. It's just, they're, you know, they're more, they're vertical where the water balloons are horizontal. Now this was made by Tomy, or however you pronounce it, rather than, you know, Capcom, who made the Magical Quest games. Or, you know, Sega, who made the Castle of Illusion. Is it Capcom that made? I think it was, yeah. And so you kill all of them and you get more health. And this is very similar to the tr actual treasure room in Pirates of the Caribbean. So you have to put out the fire using the water balloons and there's actually a very unique thing here with the fire where if you oops 
not sure where it is. But basically, some of the platforms, if the, you let them burn for too long, they'll fall. Now, now, like I said in my review of this game, I have no idea why it was never released um, outside of Japan. It wasn't even released in Europe. It's, it was only, I mean, I get it. It's, it's Tokyo. Oh man. Oh, see, look. It's got that little burn right there. If I'd let it continue to burn, the platform would have fallen. Hey, while I'm playing this game, why don't I give you guys some Disney World memories of mine? Um, Pirates of the Caribbean, what, do, what can I say? Uh, it's a classic. It's one of Disney's greatest rides. Um, the movies... I like the first one. In fact, I'd probably consider the first one one of my favorite movies just of all time. Oh, that was Invincibility. Okay, cool. Of course, it's about to wear off. I feel like there was something back there. Let's see, this is level 1-3. Oh, no, no! Okay. And that light blue bar right there is for... Um water. How much you can breathe underwater. Let's see if I can get anywhere with the... There we go. And look, there's even something up here. So if you fill up the water balloons, you'll sink faster. And then you can use the helium to... I'm trying not to make this a whole walkthrough strategy guide kind of video, but there's, you know, there's not much I can say. I got this game for, it was about 20 bucks on, on Amazon. I didn't play it any prior to buying it. I'm not the kind of person who emulates first and then plays it later, or, and then sees if it's good or not. You know, I was like, hey, it's a Disney game, and it's one based off of Disney World. Or, not Disney World, but Disney theme parks. Yeah, I don't have much to complain about with this game. I mean, yeah, it's difficult, but that's really it. And the slowdown, those are really my only issues with the game. Everything else, perfectly fine. I mean, it even has pretty awesome boss battles as we're about to see. Oh, come on. Stop, slow down, stop, slow down. Ooh. And now we are going to fight the boss. And every boss you fight is a different version of Pete. So this is Pirate Pete. And you just hit him with the water balloons. Ah. Oh. And you just keep throwing them. Ah, oh, come on, no. No! He sent out enemies. Oh no. Stop, stop. Yay, there we go. We got him. First world complete. And thankfully, the passwords are simple. So we rescued Daisy Duck. And I can't read any of that. So where do we go next? Next we go, I think, to Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. Which again, great theming. It, it fits the ride got that western look.
I mean, even little things like Mickey, how he looks when he's fall when he's running down a s slope, you know. Ah. But yeah, I don't know why this game was never released outside of Japan. I mean, look, a majority of it is in, in English. You know, the cutscenes are in Japanese, but, you know, you could easily translate that. And yeah, it's Tokyo Disneyland, but it's not like anything in this game is... There's no rides you go to that aren't in Disney World or Disneyland. So it's a shame. But, hey. I think it'll just... I think it's just forever going to be, you know, a hidden gem on the Super Nintendo, and I guess I'm fine with that. There, I got an extra life. Ooh, that could have been bad. And there are some fallen rocks. Oh, at least I had that extra life, and I'm back at the beginning. Wonderful. Yeah, there are no checkpoints. You know, the only checkpoints are the when you get to the next level. But this is a game I highly recommend if you love Disney, especially the old 16-bit Disney games. This is. This is one I think everyone should check out. Because it's, you know, it's unique. It's something different. I think I said it in my review of this game, but I said it was like, this is like the prequel to, um, or not prequel, the sequel to Adventures in the Magic Kingdom, since they are very similar. And I still stand by that, you know, you're going to different Disney rides, at least, you know, this time, more of them feel like the actual rides, whereas in... Adventures in the Magic Kingdom, you know, the only one that actually felt like the ride it was based on was, um... Aw, oh, seeing if I could get through that. Hey, I did it anyway! I guess it's that kind of situation where it's sort of, you risk it, and it's worth it. I don't know what the hats do. I think they're invincibility, which... If you want to know how I got to be able to play this on my Super Nintendo, um, there's a little, there are these little tabs inside the Super Nintendo that prevent Famic Super Famicom games from normally going in there. And basically, you just get some pliers or whatever, and you just you rip them out, and you can play Super Famicom games. I think the same goes for the uh, Nintendo 64. There's some prongs in there you have to remove. You know, it's nothing dangerous. You know, I mean, you don't want to just go in there not knowing what you're doing, but... what's up here if there isn't anything and it looks like there is not anything special up here what a shame so let's go on to the next level 
Is this the... Yep, this one... This one I have always had trouble with because it is very difficult to get Mickey to land on this thing. There we go. And basically, then eagles start coming... Or vultures, I'm not sure what they are, but they start coming at you and then you gotta... Make sure Mickey doesn't get hit by one of them. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Whoa. You gotta dodge him. Oh. That was close. Ooh, too close. There, I made it. Now, I'm not sure how I'm supposed to get... How? Do I just... Nope, you can't just crash through it. Wait, I think I know what to do here. Let me try something. There we go. There, that worked. Cool. And then you go down here, and it's another one. I think this one you gotta, like, jump at the right time or something like that. Yep. Oh! Otherwise, that will happen. And we're back here. So, once I get a game over, I think that's where I'll stop. Um, if you want me to continue playing this, I will after Muppet Monster Adventure, but, you know... This was just one that I know I can just turn on and play for a few minutes, and it's it's a good time. The later levels are really neat, including the level for Splash Mountain, where at the very end, um, it is in a log flume. You're in a log, um, and they've got all the characters from the ride, and then when he's about to go down the hill... You know, he holds his hands up and it does like a flash, like a camera. Ah, oh, Man. Nope, I still got one life left. Let's see if I can do it. Oh! Oh no! Oh no! Oh! No! Come on! That's close. Now see, imagine if that had landed, like, right in the middle of where there's no track. And I had to make sure it was dead center where I landed. Okay, here we go. Last try at this. Can I do it? Hey, that worked. Sweet. Okay, let's keep going. Oh, hey, at least I didn't lose the cart. And we're at the next level now. Wait, I know what I can what I do here. Jump on it and Yeah, that's fun. Hopefully I can find an extra life or... Oh no, it's this part. This part. Oh gosh. This part is actually one of the tougher parts in the entire game. And I'll show you why. See, if you go up that way, you start back at the beginning of the level. And then this. This is, this is what's difficult, is you have to... You have to get through, not only get through the spikes, but get through a tornado. Up, 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 oh! And I've always had difficulty with this part. Because you don't want to go too far! Oh. At least the enemies don't come back. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, 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 I did it. Can I? No, no, no. Oh. And then Mickey's just like, ha ha. Nope. Nope. Oh, good enough. I don't care. Oh, I did it. I made it. Yes. 
Oh, don't you dare hit me, Bat. I do not want to die when I'm this far. And I think this barrel goes off of a cliff and you have to jump at the right time. It's more... Oh! Oh! Oh my goodness. That was too close for comfort. Okay, so how do I get up here? Cool. Okay, so what's what's in this box? Just another health point, of course. You have to be so careful with that. How do I get past that? I don't teach you that part. I just say run. Don't put that kind of crap again, please. Don't make me do that again. I'm not even sure what these enemies are supposed to be. Oh, 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 where are you gonna take me? Where are you gonna... Oh, 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 oh my god. Oh, okay. I'm... Like I said, once I die, that's when I'll give in. It's been about 20 minutes, but I'm going to keep going. I'm not going to give up. Oh my. This is going to kill me, ladies and gentlemen. No, 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 no. There's just, it's, this is where the true difficulty comes in, you know? Where you have to make sure you are just precise, or you're not. You gotta be a hundred percent precise, or you're gonna fail. <sighs> I know this must be really fun to watch. No. Oh. Can I? Can I? Can I? Yes, I did it. And then I gotta put my finger right on the button. And now we get part two. Oh, well, folks, I don't know how to get past this part. Maybe there's some magic way to do it, but... As far as my knowledge, I... I I don't know how to get past the spikes like this. Because you can't crawl. As far as I know, I'm trying different things to see if there is some... And there isn't. And I'm dead. So, game over. Thank you for watching JGLP. Um, see you guys next time.